just had a trip to New York, and uh, I found myself getting very pissed while I was at the airport. Um, because like I'm a, I'm a big black guy, and uh, people think of me as a threat a lot of places I go. You know, if I walk down the street, lady, hold her purse, and you know, you get offended, but you take some pride in it, like I'm dangerous. But <laughs> I'm not airport dangerous. <laughs> because they have two metal detectors. They have the one that can tell your age, your sex, you know, uh, your DNA blood type, you know, the big jumbo trial one. Then they have that old 1971 that couldn't detect a zipper or anything. <laughs> and they sent me through that one, and I was like, what? what? Like, I will blow this bitch up. Like, <laughs> fuck, I left my bike at home. But I, that, that was for a trip to New York, and uh, when I was in New York, I found myself using my data a lot because I didn't know where I was going, so I had the GPS a lot. And it was at that moment that I realized how big of drug dealers uh, phone companies are. Because like data is like the biggest crack in the world now. <laughs> like we're addicted to it. Like I was out of data and I found myself at the T-Mobile store like, come on, man. <laughs> Let me borrow a gig. <laughs> it ain't your gig. <laughs> and I realized what I use my data for. I didn't realize what I was using it for. Like, what, how do you decide if the, the speed is fast or not? And I realized it was when I watch my porn. <laughs> if my porn is downloading fast or not. Because we have 4G, it's crystal clear, it goes fast, you're good. 3G, you can't watch porn now. You have to read that shit. <laughs> you ever try to jack off to Word, sir? <laughs> it's hard without a college degree. <laughs> I'm sitting there like oh, they were the best of platonic friends. Platonic. <laughs> platonic. Ma, what's platonic? <laughs> Me and <Claudia>. <sighs> <sighs> What else do we want to talk about today, guys? I'm all over the place when I do this stuff. <laughs> Anybody got a job they don't like? <laughs> Fuck the rest of y'all. <laughs> Uh, I got a job, uh, and I, 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 I hate it. I hate it, like most people. Um, I hate it so much, I go in the bathroom and I call it bomb threats. <laughs> Nobody ever done that before? Like, I'll be like, if you don't close this bitch by 12 o'clock and still pay all your employees overtime, I'm blowing it up. They be like, we know what you want, Andre. <laughs> You ain't even block your number. <laughs> I'd be like, shit, I gotta remember that for next time. <laughs> when they gonna stop uh, making you drug tests for minimum wage jobs? <laughs> like, if you work minimum wage, you should have to do drugs. That should be required. <laughs> like, if you work retail, you should smoke weed. If you work fast food, you should do speed. <laughs> <sighs> When you're in a relationship, uh, girls kind of like figure out your triggers and um, they use it to kind of get what they want from you, like uh, to get out of conversations that, that they were going to lose otherwise. And uh, my girlfriend uh, figured mine out. Um, it's like complimenting my penis size. Because <laughs> we're chilling in the room the other day and my mom knocks up, bangs on the door, just comes in yelling about me not doing my chores. and. Uh, she leaves and my girlfriend's like, Andre, I love your mom, but uh, she can be a bitch sometimes. And I'm like, that's my mom, that's my day one. If I gotta choose between her and you, get your ass out of here. <laughs> and she was like, no babe, I, like, I, I love her, you know, because she made your big dick ass, and, and I do love her. I was like, it, it's big, right? She was like, yeah, no, no, no. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I hate her too sometimes. <laughs> Uh, I think I got the light, so here go my closer. Uh, it's a lot, of white, a lot of white people in here. It's always funny within itself. Uh, I'm jealous of white people lately, because uh, you guys get to worry about stuff that as like a black male, I don't get to worry about in this day and age. Um, like ISIS. 
Like white people are so terrified of ISIS. I'm like, white people, you're more likely to die from your children. <laughs> like while you're terrified of ISIS, little Jimmy's in a basement with a gun because you took his PlayStation away from him. <laughs> or what's the other thing? Ebola. White people are terrified of there's like three Ebola cases. I'm like, you're more likely to die from a severe gluten allergy. <laughs> a white friend and I asked him, I said, hey, why do you guys get to worry about stuff that as a black male I just don't get to worry about? And they were, he was like, uh, well, that's because you guys die a lot from being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I said, why don't you have that problem? He was like, well, whenever I go somewhere, I just take out my phone and I hit avoid niggas. <laughs> He was like, why doesn't my Google Maps not have that option? <laughs> he was like, well, you just might be a nigga. <laughs> 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 